Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. This is the very first time that Ahmed Al Hassan Janim has ridden a bike. I don't know if you can get that experience anywhere else from seeing that first smile from a child on an adaptive bike. My name is Linda Erlocker, and I am a volunteer with You Can Ride Too. You Can Ride Too is a program that takes standard bikes and adapts them to suit the needs of some pretty special kids. When I first went to You Can Ride Too, I was absolutely astounded that you could find so many different bikes that would suit the so many different, different abilities. I was absolutely excited for all the kids that would be gifted with a bike for the summer. Uh, I will go to the park with it too. You like that, to go to the park with yeah. it? Yeah. My name is Trent Magus, and I'm a pediatric physical therapist and a volunteer with the You Can Ride 2. You Can Ride 2 is all about getting kids of all abilities riding bikes and having that joy and experience of bike riding. We find adapted bikes that are specially designed and fit for those kids and the families come in and we get the kids on the bike to try it out. They might take it for a spin around the warehouse. You'll be looking at how their body moves, what could be, you know, do we need to change the height of the seat, change the handlebars, make those adjustments with the mechanics to say, okay, we need to change this pedal out, and the mechanic might take that bike into the back and change some pedals or add some parts, get that perfect fit. The adaptive features on the bikes are as varied as the kids that ride them. Some are low to the ground or recumbent with handbrakes. Others have special seats for back support. Some have training wheels. Some have push handles for a guide, and others still have a tandem seat to accommodate a buddy. It's a really exciting day because some kids will come to that day and they'll have that first experience of success on a bike. Linda also strongly believes in this rite of passage. She discovered the program years ago when her son Eric wanted to try riding a bike. He is in a wheelchair and he's nonverbal. He can walk short distances by holding your hand. And we didn't believe the first time that we went to You Can Ride To that Eric could actually have a bike that would be suitable and supportive for him. But there are bikes. And if that particular bike isn't there when you go, they build them. Linda's enthusiasm for the program is what motivates her to volunteer, as well as seeing firsthand how parents like Jason and Angela Burgoyne react to their son Jacob getting his first bike. He's pretty excited to get on the bike and try something different than his walker. And it's a good test for him, so we're kind of excited to see what's going to happen next. <laughs> Jacob is ready to experience the joy and freedom of riding a bike for the first time. Yes. Keep going. Come on, come on. He's doing Jakey. so well. And how did Linda feel seeing Jacob ride a bike for the first time? To see him get on that bike and he was able to pedal and the sheer joy of watching him do that, it reminded me of our first year here with Eric. It didn't take Jacob long to get his bike legs and speed past Dad. Got running to keep up to him and he just doesn't want to get off the bike. And it's just kind of non-stop. He's thoroughly enjoyed himself. A little overwhelmed, uh, had a few tears. <laughs> but really excited to see him having so much fun and being able to have that freedom of being able to go and just move and do what a normal kid wants to do. And to have something like that means the world. It means absolutely everything. Where'd you go? <laughs> Come on. Come on. That's it. That's why I do it, to experience the same joy that I had when I was a kid riding the bike for the first time. To know that these Kids, children, young adults are going to get to go out in the community and say, hey, I can ride with you too. 